the time has finally come we can all rejoice now that advanced text editing is in Kittle. And yes, kerning is part of this update. First is individual letter color. The long-awaited request to be able to change the color of individual letters in a text box is now a reality. Simply highlight the letter that you want to change in your text, open the color panel to select a new color, and it will change that letter to that color. And if you ever want to start changing colors within your text box, you can select that that text, click on the color swatches on the right side to change them to whatever color you want. Next is having multiple typefaces and weight within the same text box. Let's say you want the first letter in your text box to be a script letter. Well, now all you have to do is highlight that letter, open the type panel, and select a new typeface to change it. No more separate text boxes being smushed together. And the same thing applies for different weights within a typeface. You can highlight the letter you want, open the weight drop down, and select a new weight for that individual letter over in the right side panel. Variable font support is also available for this text editing feature. For example, let's say you have a variable font where the width of your word can change. Well, now you can select an individual letter in that word, open up the variable slider, and apply a larger width to that sole individual letter. This is such a cool addition to Kittle's already powerful text editing tools, and I know you are going to love making some super unique layouts. Not only can you change the typeface and weight of individual characters, you can change the individual letter size as well. Highlight the letter you want to change and simply type in a new size over in the right side panel to change that individual character. You can also quickly increase or decrease the size by holding the shift key and using your up or down arrows on your keyboard. All of the type enthusiasts will now be happy as kerning is available within text boxes in Kittle. To do this, you can place your cursor in between the two letters you'd like to increase or decrease spacing and input your number over in the right side panel or use your up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the space size. If you want larger increments of space at a time, like I said before, you can hold down the shift key along with the up or down arrows to save time. Just make sure you've clicked into that letter spacing box on the right side panel. And similar to individual size, color, and weight, you can edit the individual case of letters in a text box, meaning if you want certain letters to be uppercase or lowercase, you can highlight that letter, go over and change the case in the right size panel. Individual line height editing is also available within text boxes. Now you can select your line relative to the top line and enter a new height over in the right panel. Similar to kerning, you can also hold shift and use your arrow keys to increase or decrease the spacing quickly. There's no more copying and pasting four lines of text just to get them a little bit closer together. Now, this is is just the start of what we're going to do with advanced text editing in Kittle. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on what we recently launched so that you can go ahead and get in and start playing with these text features. I encourage you to use them in conjunction with our other text effects and transformations to see what you come up with. And if you're new here, this is a great time to jump into Kittle. You can sign up for free using the link down in the description and try all of this stuff out. Plus use our templates, graphics, illustrations, and other powerful features we have in Kittle. Let me know your thoughts about text editing down in the comments, especially if there are more text features you want. We'd be super happy to collect all of those and see if we can get them included in this next update. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.